In just a couple of days, we are going to be getting The Last of Us Part 1, which is a remake of one of the best video games of all time. It's not even just a video game, it's one of the best pieces of media, one of the best stories ever created, so obviously this is very exciting. Obviously, I'm looking forward to, you know, re-experiencing this. We've got better graphics, we've got better gameplay and, and updates and things, bringing it up to a modern technology game. Now, there is some talk online where some people are upset that they're selling this as a full price game. It's a full $70 PS5 title. And this is the third time the game's been released. It came out originally, then we had the remastered version. Now we have part one, which is a remake. So um, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Let, let's check out some gameplay here. We got seven minutes of unedited gameplay today. 4K 60, captured on PS5. What let's see you. what we're working with here. There's that truck sticking out of the school right there. Come on. Already looks absolutely beautiful. Wow. I'm gonna get scared so bad. This is Bill's town, right? Oh, hold on a second. Did that, there's no way that arrow should have hit, right? We're gonna go to, to a 0.5 playback speed. Hold on a second. Comes across that arrow was going behind that zombie. All right, yeah, the, the okay, we've got we've got generous hitboxes here. Maybe we're on an easy, easy difficulty. Back back to the gameplay here. Looks beautiful though. Ooh, yeah, that that was that was a perfect hit. The high school dude. I remember how brutal the takedowns were. The finishers and things. Stomping. Ellie, run! Run! Oh, now we messed up. Hitbox isn't that generous. <laughs> Bring out the grenade. We've got a crawler. That is one thing you can't do. Well, that was easier than I thought it'd be. They must be holed up somewhere else. Well, let's not test our luck. How do we get inside? Someone left a ladder on the bus. Here, get me up there and I'll drop it to you. They didn't, um... They didn't bring back mechanics from The Last of Us Part Two, Like the, the proning, the dodging, things like that. So it's, it stays true to the original one, which... I kind of respect, but I also feel like maybe adding some new gameplay mechanics would have been cool. Obviously, we'll know a lot more when we get to play it. But... Up there. Thanks, Bill. Dude, this looks this looks good. This looks really good. This is like how I imagined it back in the day. I know it didn't look like this, but it's how I saw it in my okay. my head. You know what we I mean? Just need to get to the hood of the truck. There's going to be a lot, a lot of little things that you aren't even going to notice, too. They're coming. Move it, kid. Like it's going to be much more dense on screen. There's going to be more foliage, more things going on, more items in the environment. Come on, Joel. Time to put in work, bud. Whip that sniper out. Go, Molotov. Grab this. No. Please tell me you're done. Tim? What? Fucking empty. Guys. Bill, where to? Uh, Bill, where? Anywhere but here. You made a haul ass. Come on. They broke it through. Oh, 
I don't think you want to be in there. Look at the ray trace reflections in the puddles, dude. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. We'll sneak out the back. You two, follow me. I'll get us out of here. My guess. Better pick up that brick, son. Stun him. Finish him. Not the sneakiest move, though. Joe's punches have some weight to him, man. Down the hall. I bet we could cut through those classrooms. One thing we're not getting here too is the dual sense. I, I'm I'm really, really curious how they're gonna integrate the dual sense and all the feelings and vibrations and rumbles and things, like situations like this. Oh, we're going just balls to the wall here. We're not even trying to be sneaky. This guy's kind of spontaneously turned into fire there, but I guess they ran through the clicker. Fuck. <laughs> Ellie. Looks like there's a path down this hallway. <laughs> Okay, that hold on, hold on a second. Let me let me pause this again. We got to back this up. That it's it's the little things, the the very little details are gonna make this such a better experience. We're back on 0.5 speed here. So watch watch the streamers up here when the grenade goes off. Glass exploding and stuff. I think there must have been like maybe this is like a, a trophy case or something over here that exploded. The environment is not only gonna be more dense, but it's gonna be more interactive with your you know, actions in game. Shut him up, thank you. Oh, those reflections. I love me some good old water reflections in video games. Help me really me. adds to the immersion. All right, ready? One more time. Come on, shit. There's more on the way. <laughs> This ain't gonna hold up for long. We got problems. That don't sound good. Oh, no. Yeah. That kind of loader. Ellie, take cover. I got this. It's a bullet sponge, is what this thing is. And we got the little guys coming in. Oh, the dismemberment. It's gonna look so Ellie, much better. Do not like this. Come on now. Not a time to miss, Joel. I feel like they didn't change the smoke at all. That the ball he just threw out of there. Whoo, there it is. Oh, such an epic part of the game. That's actually one of my favorite parts of the game there. So there you guys have it. That, my friends, is The Last of Us Part 1. That's the most gameplay we've seen up until this point. And uh, man, it looks good. Like That looked fantastic. There is a very clear upgrade in terms of the environments and the graphics and the textures and the lighting and things like that. Didn't really see any cutscenes there, but obviously the cutscenes have been dramatically changed as well. So from that standpoint, it looks a lot better, undoubtedly. I'm curious to see how it plays. Like I mentioned, you know, the DualSense integration is going to be kind of fun. Hopefully it's done right and not done too much. Like some games, I feel like it's a bit too much like Spider-Man. I don't like playing with the DualSense on Spider-Man just because it's, it's you know, so much every time you web sling. But I feel like in a game like this, maybe feeling some shotgun blasts and feeling like the tense moments where something's sneaking around you and stuff like that like that 
could be kind of fun, as well as just gameplay improvements in general. You know, I, I think the game's going to be a lot smoother. They didn't add in any new animations or anything like that and in terms of, you know, being able to crawl and being able to dodge and things. But, uh, you know, I, I think the game's going to play better. Can't tell until we actually play it. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's that. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to be picking it up? I know there's a lot of drama around this game. A lot of people are upset that, you know, this is the third time it's been released. Does it need to be a full price game? I personally don't think so. Am I going to buy it anyway? Probably. I'm in a very fortunate situation where, you know, this is my job and I make videos and things. So it, it to me, it, it the $70 doesn't matter that much because it's just a write-off. But I also understand that if you're, you're somebody that, you know, only buys a certain number of games per year, it, it's, it's kind of off-putting. Like... It, you know, $70 for, for a game that we've all already played and, and was already good by itself. It just doesn't doesn't really make sense. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you guys going to be picking this up? Are you going to play it? Do you guys want to see a series on the channel? I, I don't know if we're going to do it. I might do it. I might not. I'm kind of, I, I don't know. There, there's some other random stuff I want to play and I, I, I don't know. We've played it a few times here on the channel in the past. So I, I'm undecided. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to control later. Peace out.